fermented soybean paste. I know. If you're not familiar with it, it can sound a little intimidating, but I swear, every person I've made tinjang jjigae or fermented soybean stew for has absolutely loved it. Tinjang jjigae is one of the most prevalent items you'll see at a Korean meal. It's so easy to make and just goes well with everything on the table. My favorite combo is fried rice plus tinjang jjigae. I like to make mine a little spicy, so I throw in some gochugaru and it comes out looking fiery and bright. Growing up, we'd have jars of my grandmother's tinjang in the fridge, and it was definitely one of those things my mom was worried about when friends came over. It has a very pungent smell and looks a little unusual. Now, when I'm trying out different tinjangs, the smellier, the better. Of course, there's nothing I wouldn't give to have some of my grandmother's tinjang in my fridge, or for that matter, my halmoni is with me right now as I celebrate their food and their stories. I think they'd be proud.